Hello guys, Plast here. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video on how to add an SQL databases to your 5M server. It's pretty easy. So without that, we'll just get started. So first off, you'll need to download Exapt and just for whatever type your computer is, as I'll download. So just get that downloaded. And once it is downloaded um, and you have everything ready, this will pop up here. And first off, you'll just want to start MySQL in Apache and allow access. On MySQL, go ahead and click Admin. And it'll open up PHP My Admin. Now just let us sit here for a second. Second off, what you're going to need is MySQL Async. So we'll go ahead and download that. And we'll unzip it into our 5M server here. So I already have it here, but if we didn't, we would just take it here. We'll rename it to, we'll just take master and 5M out of it. And it's in our server. And we'll go to our server CFG. And you can start the entire thing, just the entire um, folder. Or obviously you can just ensure uh, my sync here separately but I'll just start the entire folder to make it easier. So once we have that in our server, we'll need to go to the documentation. And we'll just click next, next, and here's where we'll set up our name. So now at PHP My Admin, we'll go over to user accounts. And you'll see here the username, the host name, the password, and you'll just see if it has um, you know, privileges and all that. You'll see one that does. So what you'll do, username, PMA, or root, this one's here. Uh, you'll make sure the username is root, the host name is uh, localhost. And right here, you can do that. Uh, user root. And then right here where it says database, pit 5M. Go ahead and copy this. And just paste it into your server CFG. Doesn't matter where you paste it. Now in here, uh, PHP My Admin, you're going to do new. And we're going to create the database called 5M. Go ahead and create that. You'll see here that we created a new database. And for all the scripts you have that use an SQL database, you'll just go over to it. And you'll see the SQL right here. And you'll just drag it in. Refresh the page. And it's here. And now once you start up your server, it'll be working perfectly. If this video helped you, please leave a like, subscribe, and have a good one.